We have a question here from Man Chung Wong. I hope I have pronounced that correctly. Is it possible that my colleagues can see the Google file that I accidentally opened online? And so I get a lot of these kind of questions and they're basically questions around what can my administrators see inside my Google Workspace account? And so if I am using my business account and I went to a dodgy website or I opened up a Google Doc, you know, what exactly can my administrators see? Now, the short answer is an administrator always has the ability to reset your password and enter your Google account. And if someone resets your password and enters your Google account, they have access to all of your history, if it's saved, all of your chats, all of your Google files, basically everything. So just assume that if you're using a work account, yes, there is always a way for your administrator to access and see absolutely everything that, that has happened inside that business account. And so that's why if you're an employee of a company, it might make sense for you to have two Chrome profiles, one where you're signed in with your business account for all your work stuff, and one where you're signed in for a personal account where you keep all of your personal information and data. Of course, you probably wanna save things like bookmarks and history and whatnot for your personal life outside of what you're doing for work and for business. And so it makes sense to have them nicely separated. But I wanna show you specifically what this actual feature allows you to do because this feature gives you something pretty cool. And that feature is the ability to see who has opened a document. And when you can see who has opened a document and actually you're able to track the history on a document, it allows you to see in your team members, you know, who has actually worked through a particular document, who's opened it and when. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna open up a demo folder here in my Google Drive and I've got a number of different documents that I like to use as demos. So this is a Google Doc and inside this Google Doc, I've got lots of comments and I've got a few different people who've accessed it. You can see I've been working on this for a very long time because it's all the way back in 2015 uh, that we've got edits to this document, but let's go ahead and open up and see who has actually accessed this document. So if I go to this little icon here, kind of looks like the Harry Potter squiggle. You can click on that and you can see who the different viewers are who have actually worked with this document. Now, the only people who have viewed this document are Sarah in 2019 and then me within the last hour. So that's really the last time this document was touched. Now, if I wanted to, I have the ability to send an email, which is pretty cool. But if I open up all viewers within IT Genius, you can see there's some other people that have also viewed it as well. So these are other people that have seen it from within our company. It wasn't specifically shared with them on an individual person's basis, but I can see the last time that those people viewed it. Now, there's some other bits and pieces here, like the trends of how many people you know have viewed it, and and you know you get some pretty graphs and and those kind of things, and you know number of comments and whatnot, and you know there's even a a log of the different history of who's been shared on and off and those kind of things. Um, so that's all pretty cool. And what that gives you is the ability to see on an individual document basis who has actually seen it. And so that might be useful when you're managing staff or managing employees and you're delegated a task to someone and they say, hey, yeah, I've done it or I've worked at it or I've looked at it. And you know, you wanna go and actually check out whether or not that actually happened. Say, okay, cool, hey, did this actually happen? Did this person actually pick up on this document? Oh, I can see here when they actually opened it. And so it might be useful for that. It might also be useful in a sales scenario. Maybe you've got a presentation or a proposal that you've shared with a client and you wanna see did they actually open up the document? Did they open up what you shared with them? Maybe you shared a price list that you keep up to date on Google Sheets and you wanna see you know, when customers are actually opening that and viewing it. And that might give you an idea of what the activity is with a particular customer. And that might help with your account management or your relationship management with that customer. So nice little nifty feature there to keep you up to date on who is accessing what inside your documents. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.